Welcome to the first episode of a series I'm going to be doing on sustainability. Both Nikoi and Chempadak are big proponents of the three R's when it comes to sustainability. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Instead of plastic bottles for drinking water, we provide reusable glass bottles. Natural soaps and toiletries are provided in reusable containers. Order a cocktail and it's going to come with one of our bamboo straws, produced by our bar manager's family. Over the course of nine years, Nikoi has perfected its sustainable practices, but there was a problem, food waste. In 2016, a consultant identified that 88% of the island's waste was organic. Uncooked food waste could be composted, but cooked food will A, attract pests, and B, produce methane as it breaks down. We were recommended to establish a series of biopods with black soldier flies to process the food waste. Black soldier flies are found in tropical areas around the globe, so we didn't even need to introduce them. They also don't bite, sting, or land on you, like the annoying common house fly, so would not have any impact on our guests. The biopods were built with a few important features. A ramp on the sides at an angle of 45 degrees, meaning the mature larvae, when ready to pupate, could wriggle out of the rotting food. The larvae would then crawl through a pipe and drop into a collection bucket, effectively harvesting itself. The pods are capable of holding 120 kilograms of waste each, and also have lids that can hold egg containers. A black soldier fly will not lay its eggs directly on rotting food. It will instead lay them just above, so when the maggot hatches, it drops onto a source of food. The black soldier fly larvae will then release a pheromone that wards off other flies and insects. Depending on conditions, the maggots can take anywhere from two weeks to a couple of months to mature. We found the optimum temperature to be 27 degrees, and the food waste should also be kept constantly moist. On a typical week, we can harvest one kilogram of black soldier fly larvae per biopod. On Chempadak, that's four kilograms a week from our four pods. This then gets sent to our farm in Bintan to feed our egg-laying hens and our broilers, and sometimes our ducks, and fish, and on special occasions, our staff. Mmm, delicious. The maggots are a high-protein superfood for chickens, and even have antibiotic effects against salmonella. So what happens with the waste the maggots leave? This is called the casting. It can be further broken down in separate containers by red worms or effective microorganisms, EM4. We use EM4, as it also breaks down bones. To make this, take 10 papaya leaves, 3 noni fruits, half an orange peel, and 2 litres of water. Mix this and ferment in a bucket anaerobically for two weeks. The result will be a solution of EM4, which can then treat the casting, making it a viable compost after a couple of months. EM4 can also be used to boost the black soldier fly population. Some of the mature larvae can be left to pupate in a mesh cage. Then you take a mixture of EM4, casting, dead black soldier flies and palm sugar and leave this in the cage. The adult black soldier flies will lay their eggs over the top of this potential food source. The eggs can then be collected and hatched on a bed of chicken feed or fish pellets. After a week of growth, the maggots can be added to the biopods. To keep the adult black soldier flies in the cage alive, we hang up cloth strips which we spray regularly with sugar palm water. The black soldier flies have contributed to Nikoi and Chempadak becoming zero waste resorts and with the right maintenance are a viable solution to food waste in tropical areas.